Hello YouTube, Arrow Assassin here today, and I am going to be doing a Monk PvP guide. What's that? Let's get this started. First row is Chi Burst, Eye of the Tiger, and Chi Wave. I went with Eye of the Tiger because it's an extra dot damage for against Stealthers, and I found that pretty nice for when they try to get away with like Shadow Meld, maybe some Vanish with a Cloak on cooldown, stuff like that, and the dot's pretty nice. It also heals the Monk. So it's overall, I feel like it's pretty good. The other two actually are not too terribly bad as well if you want to try that. But I went with Eye of the Tiger just pretty much for that exact reason. But if you prefer to use something else in this row, it's actually not bad choice either. So basically first row is a personal choice. Second row, I went with Tiger Slust because it's another way to get out of roots and snares and faster speed increase. So I feel like that's like the best option for this row. This row is kind of like 15 for me. I feel like all of them are good. I think most people are going to go with Energizing Elixir just because it's a refill to your energy and chi. I went with Power Strikes just for an extra chi every 15 seconds during Tiger's Palm, so it's pretty nice. But overall, um, anything in this row works personally, so it's really up to you. But I have a feeling most people are going to go with uh, energi Energizing Elixir. Next row, I feel like the only option in here is Leg Sweep because it's an extra stun, short cooldown kind of, so well with that. Next row is between Healing Elixir and Diffuse Magic. Um, I went with Healing Elixir for the extra healing increase, so it's pretty nice heal. It has two charges, so I went with that. Diffuse Magic could be good in certain situations, of course, as well, so... Basically, it's up to you for this personal choice. I would not go with dampening harm. I just don't see it useful. So, there's that. Next row, I went with hit combo because it grants an extra increased damage, stacking up to eight times. So it's pretty nice. Invoke Exune. I've seen some people use this as well. So I think it's pretty good choice as well. Uh, Rushing Jade Wind. I have not seen anybody use this, so I'm assuming it's really not that great anymore. So I guess it would come down to invoke or hit combo. Although I see more people go with hit combo and I personally tested both of these and I like hit combo more. But it's up to your playstyle so moving on to the next row. This one's between Whirling Dragon Punch and Serenity. I went with Serenity but it has been nerfed um, a few days ago. And it still does okay but you can be easily cc'd during it so if you don't think you'll be cc'd alive which I don't think that's gonna happen then go with whirling dragon punch I think I'm probably gonna end up switching to dragon punch soon because serenity has been heavily nerfed in pvp so I would probably try out dragon punch over serenity but serenity is definitely a nice burst of course so we'll see they might do some more nerfing to Serenity. I've seen some more talk about it. Moving on to the next row. If you're an orc, I would go with Relentless. And if you're a non-orc, I would go with Gladiator's Medallion. I pick Gladiator's Medallion just for a certain reason, but I'm going to go with Relentless as an orc. Moving on to the next row, I went with the extra health increase. So there's that. Hardness isn't that bad as well. Next row, I feel like you should always just go with uh, Yulon's Gift because getting out of roll, uh, using a roll and a flying serpent kick to get out of snares is just pretty much insane. So overall, I just pick that. It's not worth getting the other things. Next row, I went with Fortifying Elixir because it's an extra defense cooldown, so it's pretty nice. And the rest of these, I don't feel like are overall worth it. Next row is Flying Serpent Kick, now has an additional charge. I feel like this is the best one out of all of these. And that's about really all there is to it. Tiger Style is actually not too terribly bad from what it looks like too, but I feel like an extra charge to get away is nice. Next row, um, I feel like Fist of Fury is going to be the, pretty much the main one for this one. Just because it has an extra 5 yards and you can stun the target with it. Spinning Blossom, I feel like some people might use as well because people have missed this spell. Rushing Tiger's Palm, I'm not really exactly sure if people are going to use this. I just feel like it's going to come down to these two, Heavily Handed Strikes and Spinning Fire Blossom. 
So that's pretty much it for the talents. Let's go over the legendaries next for uh, Windwalker. Reduces the cost of Fist of Fury by 2 Chi. I feel like this could be okay, but I don't feel like it's going to be the best one to farm. But if you do get it before a different one, that's pretty nice as well. Chunks of Death can be used a second time within 3 seconds before its cooldown is triggered. Don't feel like this is going to be good for PvP as well. Um, increases the mo movement at Bulma's speed increase of wind walking by 15%. Another really not that strong one. The duration of Storm, Earth, and Fire is extended. That one could be okay. I still feel like it's not the best one. The amount of damage that Touch of Karma to redirect is increased by 150% of your maximum health. I feel like this is going to be overall the best one you will get out of all these legendaries. It's just an extra huge increase to Touch of Karma. Keep in mind that legendaries only work in world PvP, so if you're not a world PvP, this won't really help you in Battlegrounds and stuff. So, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this guide, and I'll see you guys later.